and in between these blocks we have subtotals what is a subtotal a subtotal computes a summation of multiple condition types typically for example if there are multiple discounts that apply say there is a 20% discount and on top of it say there is a hundred dollar discount the customer is given both these discounts simultaneously I'm sure you must have seen this when you buy some clothing or some stuff like that multiple discounts applying to the same product or group of products the total will be added up here in this subtotal field so why is a subtotal used to add value from multiple condition types together why do we do that temporarily to store a value for further computation or even sometimes to store the final net value of the entire line item you might be wondering what I mean by further computation think of a scenario like this only certain fields or certain discounts are eligible for freight say so you're doing the freight calculation based on the original price if the original price is hundred dollars then the freight is ten dollars if the price is between hundred and two hundred the freight is twenty dollars so it's a typical scale based freight say because of a special discount of say seventy dollars the price went down from hundred to thirty in this case nothing changes in terms of freight it's still within the hundred dollar range but say the initial price is 200 and after a hundred and thirty dollar discount and the net is now seventy dollars in this case freight would come down to ten dollars whereas before discount it was twenty that's because the net now became less than hundred what if the business decides that the discount is too steep and freight is costing a lot so if the business decides that the customer should pay full freight based on the price but he can keep the discounts meaning we want the customer to pay full freight based on the list price not after discounts in this case you don't want to compute the freight based on the net amount instead you want it to base on the pricing before discount so how do you solve this problem you would have to maintain pricing subtotal separately discount subtotal separately and pricing minus discount subtotal separately and say tax is also based on pricing say only a certain set of discounts maybe this discount only not this discount and say tax is based on pricing minus only a certain set of discounts maybe this discount only not this discount some discounts are not allowed as part of tax computation and cases where the discounts are too steep maybe tax cannot be computed based on discount but instead on this subtotal point being you can have a different set of subtotals a number of them to temporarily store values for further computation in this case calculation of tax calculation of freight is what i mean by further computation is there a limit on the number of subtotals you can have plenty of them you just go to this column click on the list of values and these are the possible subtotals it's typically rare to create your own subtotals but sometimes you might have to create and it's a separate process to create a new subtotal now 
where are the subtotals stored they are stored in these fields 1 2 3 4 5 6 they are the standard subtotals beyond that there are some more subtotal fields so the standard subtotal fields are stored in these fields koMP kzwa1 that's subtotal 1 and then 2 goes into kzwa2 3 4 5 6 this is subtotal you cannot use all the subtotals available here in every project meaning if you take this example y it's only specific to i soil it's a vertical so you cannot really use it in a non isoil project so in either case just remember the subtotals 1 through 6 which are the most frequently used provided by sap out of the box are stored in these fields kzwa1 through 6 a subtotal can be based on just a value in a condition type or like discussed a summation of values across multiple condition types now look at this row row number 300 discount amount this is based on a summation of all the condition types from 101 through 299 all the discount condition types start at 101 see here so 101 102 103 all the way up until 299 values in all these condition type rows will be added up to the discount amount subtotal in line 300 and the way you specify that subtotals meaning from this row until this row need to be added up together is based on the from and two columns of that row this is the use of from and two columns <laughs> 